Nashville outside girl Danielle Bergoli has officially pled guilty to multiple charges. The 14 year old has admitted to filing out a false police report, grand theft, grand theft auto, and possession of marijuana. And did I mention she's only 14? Like, how is that even possible? There were two additional charges, but they were dismissed by the state attorney's office. In regards to the charge of filing a false police report in relation to an incident that occurred back in May of 2015, when authorities responded to a call that Danielle made to report domestic battery. Danielle's estranged father showed up to the court hearing, saying that he can no longer watch his daughter be exploited. Her father has said that he fears his daughter is being groomed for career in porn. Right now, the two parents are in a bitter custody battle. Danielle has not yet reported if these legal proceedings will affect her tour, where she could make up to $50,000 per show. On this tour, Danielle will be lip singing, having a Q&A, and will be inviting fans on stage to joke around. We will keep you guys up to date on this story. Hello everyone and thank you for joining me on this beautiful Thursday, I'm Court McGinley. As always, we have a lot of interesting news stories headed your way, so without any further ado, let's get started. Next, Facebook officially hits 2 billion monthly users. That's crazy. Can you guys believe it only took Facebook less than 5 years to go from 1 billion users to 2 billion users? That's extremely impressive. On Tuesday in a Facebook post, CEO Mark Zuckerberg said, As of this morning, the Facebook community is now officially 2 billion people. We're making progress connecting the world, and now let's bring the world closer together. It's important to give people a voice, to get a diversity of opinions out there. But on top of that, you also need to do this work of building common ground so that way we can all move forward together. Over the past week, Facebook has started to really focus on building communities rather than only connecting individuals to each other. Next, speaking about being online, major global firms have recently been targeted in a massive hacking attack. This includes WWP, which is a British advertising agency, Rosneft, which is a Russian oil and gas giant, FedEx and Maersk, which is a Danish shipping company. Also MDLZ, which is the company that owns Oreos, Cadbury, and many other global snack brands, reported a computer outage across its global operations. It's also been reported that Ukraine companies and government agencies have been hit the hardest. Ukraine's central bank warned financial firms across the country that an unknown virus hit the sector, which is obviously creating problems for banks and customer service as well. And that's not all, Ukraine's postal service and metro system have also reported hacking problems. The source of the hack is not yet clear, but researchers are saying that this attack used a Windows flaw called Eternal Blue, and they use this to spread through corporate networks. The US Department of Homeland Security is currently monitoring these cyber attacks. Next, a new island has appeared off the coast of North Carolina. North Carolina's Cape Hatira's national seashore is absolutely beautiful, but something pretty strange has recently happened. Pretty much overnight, a new island just appeared. What started off as a tiny sandbank has rapidly turned into a large landmass, and visitors are taking advantage and exploring this new addition to the shoreline. The island is roughly a mile long. Now, as beautiful as it is, officials are warning people not to try to swim to the island as the current is really strong and the water is quite deep. Officials are also saying that this island could disappear just as quickly as it arrived. So if people want to go explore it, now is the time to go. And if you're into collecting seashells, this is apparently the perfect place to go as the island has beautiful ones. All right, I'm ending you guys off with a crazy story. Here we have a bikini that's made entirely out of pizza. But wait, that's not the crazy part. The crazy part is that it's selling for $10,000. Honestly, who would buy that? I mean, it is 2017 and a lot of things have happened so far this year, so why not this? In order to properly celebrate National Bikini Day, which happens on July 5th, Villa Italian Kitchen has partnered with a food stylist to unleash a two-piece bathing suit made entirely of pizza. This bikini is made of homemade hand-braided dough, whole milk cheese, freshly sliced pepperoni, and sauce. When you think about it, this is actually pretty horrifying. You're going to have marinara sauce and cheese in some very unwanted places. And you can't lay in the sun, otherwise you'll cook the pizza to your skin. And most importantly, you need to stay away from any animals because once they get a whiff of your bikini, they will attack. This scary creation will be available for one day only, which will be on July 5th. So you can either pay for an entire year of community college or wear a pizza bikini for a few hours. Priorities. Let me know down in the comments if you'd be interested in purchasing this pizza bikini and why or why not. Well, there you have it. That's all the news stories I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, and I'll see all of you tomorrow.